I still can't believe we're in New Orleans, Louisiana. To a swamp and we are going to go and look for some gators. So that's how they say it. He's like, we're going to go find some gators. So today we're going to learn a bit more about New Orleans history, more of the dark side. Only quarter past eight in the morning and the music has already started. Morning. Morning guys and welcome back to New Orleans. If you've only just tuned in, we're currently spending the next week exploring this amazing city. This is actually part two. I definitely recommend going and checking out our first video where we tried so much amazing food and showed you like our first experiences here in New Orleans. But today it's all about seeing the sights and exploring the city. So we're starting today off in the Garden District and this is actually the area that we're staying in. Around the corner, we're staying at a beautiful hotel called the Henry Howard. It's built in this huge white mansion and this is definitely one of the most affluent areas that we've ever seen in America. So here in the Garden District, we've actually noticed quite a few different cemeteries kind of situated throughout the area. Literally the moment we've walked in the cemetery, it is starting to pour with rain. Is this a sign? Oh my gosh! I was already scared to come in here. I think we need to get out. It's like... Hopefully we leave the cemetery and the rain stops. Um, all the time. May as well. Jess, I had a funny joke. I went and bought some ginger so I can go and ward off the vampires. That's garlic. Wait, but what does ginger ward off then? Like a cold. <laughs> <laughs> you got this joke way off. Oh. Swamp pop. <laughs> Premise of what's happening later today. So the sun is now shining and there's actually a reason we wanted to show you this cemetery. So. Here in New Orleans, if you dig six feet down, you'll actually hit the water table, which means that if people tried to bury their dead underground, the coffins would actually be floating in water. So what they do is they actually bury their dead on top of the ground in these gigantic tombs. And I feel like it does make the cemetery feel that like extra spooky and eerie. So if there are any vampires with the cold around, I'll be covered. So it's quite nice to stroll around the Garden District for a couple of reasons. The houses are super nice here. A couple of celebrities own houses here, Sandra Bullock and I think John Goodman. But also because the houses are so nice, they film a lot of movies here. Like this one here, which is the house for Benjamin Button. Speaking of Brad Pitt, he seems to like to film movies down here in New Orleans. Just two blocks away from the last house is the house from Django Unchained except they kind of just CG'd and removed kind of the garden district because it was set on a plantation. I just love how the oak trees are taking over this place. So we're now going to take you to one of our favorite streets here in the garden district. It's called Magazine Street and it is full of boutique shops, cafes, restaurants and our favorite place to eat. We're going out for lunch. It's a place called Mojo and they do the best sandwiches and I know we're kind of obsessed with ginger but the best ginger lemonade we have ever had. Seriously. This is high praise. Mm. Mm. It's so good. So since we've arrived here in Louisiana, Stephen has been asking me to go on a swamp tour. So I've brought Stephen to a swamp and we are going to go and look for some gators. So that's how they say it. He's like, we're going to go find some gators. <laughs> that's pretty good. No. Right. And definitely haven't seen alligators in the wild before. I feel like your trip to New Orleans is not complete unless you come out and see them <laughs> on the swamp. We did it with Cajun Swamp Experiences. I'll link them below for you guys. Had so much fun. Like it's really cool coming out here and it's all adventurous. We went like through the marshlands and through the swamps. And some things. pigs. Wild Why? pigs. I did not know that they lived in the swamps. And they were quite close to those alligators. I yeah. hope they're still there. <laughs> Good 
Good morning, everybody. It's the next day. We easily just jumped on the tram and headed into the French Quarter. If you're coming to New Orleans, this is basically the number one place to come. This is where New Orleans was founded. You'll find all the old buildings, so much history, so many restaurants, so many shops. And so we're basically going to be spending all day here. Only quarter past eight in the morning and the music has already started. Okay. Is this really happening? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, the beignets in here are huge. Alright, let's compare it to Cafe Du Monde. Hot? Mm -mm. Who does it Just better? As good. Just as good? These are the reason you come to New Orleans. My favorite thing. You can't come to New Orleans until you've been yay. <laughs> so today we're going to learn a bit more about New Orleans history, more of the dark side, more about the slavery. We're going to come out to a couple of plantations. The first one we're coming out to is the Oak Alley Plantation, which is what we are currently at at the moment. And you can see why, because the pathway right now is lined with oak trees and right at the end is the big house. This is such a beautiful place. So this house is a two-story, almost big version of a shotgun house. And I explain what a shotgun house is. If you come through here, all the rooms are connected and this improves airflow and they give it the shotgun house name because you could shoot a shotgun right from one end of the house to the other end of the house. It's so surreal coming to something that is so beautiful yet so many horrific things happen here. Yeah, the Whitney Plantation, currently walking through almost like an oak alley. There are these beautiful, gigantic trees just leading into the big house, which is where the owners would live, here at the front of the property. So we just come inside one of the slavery houses, so... This is split between two different families and between five to six people would live in here. It would be so crowded and they say up to 100 to 150 slaves would be on this plantation at one time. Wow. So there's about four or five plantations in the area and you can do different tours to take you to different ones. We did kind of like a combo and I feel like we didn't get the complete picture until we went to both of them. I'll link below if you guys were interested in going to the ones that we did, but I'm really happy that we could have come out here because we've just learned so much in the space of today. So we're currently walking down to Frenchman Street to go to a jazz bar to go watch a jazz band, but I swear you don't even need to go down to that street. Just walk around and you will find a complete jazz band. I don't even think you need to put music in this video because we can just use all the street performers but we've come down to Jackson Square and this is basically like the spot to come when you're heading down. <laughs> so as I was saying we're in Jackson Square and this is the oldest part of New Orleans and this is where you'll get that postcard photo of the church over here and then on this side is the Mississippi River and you can actually take a steamboat along the river and I feel like I've heard of Mississippi so much going one Mississippi, two Mississippi. Does everyone do that when they count? So now seeing that river I'm like hey I've seen the famous Mississippi now. River. And in our afternoon right here on Bourbon Street and it's all only wow 2 p.m. and there are already people drinking all through the streets you guys didn't know this is one of three cities in America where you can public street drink kind of like Vegas and of course if you're coming down here to party or to drink this is the place to be alrighty we are back at the New Orleans Airport I hope you enjoyed us checking out a little bit of Louisiana I feel like there are so many more places we need to go and see, so make sure you leave a comment on where we should go. But we have a little exciting series starting very soon, so if you are new around here, make sure you hit subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. See ya!
Steve, the day has finally come. A year and a half ago, we started planning a huge holiday with some of our best, best friends. They live in Canada. We haven't seen them for the longest time and uh, we are about to go traveling with them for the next month, starting in Orlando, going to Disney. 